Lakers looking to make it three in a row, hosting the Utah Jazz on Friday night. LeBron James deferring to none other than Russell Westbrook, who's coming off the bench nowadays. And Brody looking good, finding AD not once. Better make it twice. Davis had 22 points. The Lakers competitive against a feisty Utah group. But then here's Jordan Clarkson knocking in the three ball. And at the half, Utah led it by 12. Third quarter, Colin Sexton going to turn the basketball over. And guess who's in transition? I know he's in year 20, but them legs still got some wiggle to him and some bounce. Jeannie Buzz liking what she sees. LeBron throws it down. 17 points, 11 rebounds for the King. And then how about Brody? 26 points, six assists. Lakers could use a couple stops here in the fourth. They're not going to get them because Larry Marketing said enough is enough. 27 points, 13 rebounds for Marketing. Another Utah win. They improved to 7 and 3 on the season, defeating the Lakers 130 to 116. Lakers took an L to the Jazz on Friday. That's Donovan Mitchell's old team. How would they fare against Donovan Mitchell's new team, the Cavaliers? LeBron's former team as well. Lakers, Cavs, white jerseys are out, which means it's some Sunday hoops for LeBron and the Lakers. LeBron down the lane with the grown man juice. Brody continues to shine in his role off the bench for L.A. He scores. And then LeBron spinning, winning, and dealing grown man in two of his 27 points also had seven rebounds four assists how about brody finding ad anthony davis 19 and 12 brody added 19 and 10 lakers at the half up by six but in the second half it was pretty much all cleveland from there donovan mitchell with the pull-up jump shot now carries levert looking and finding don't mind if i do mitchell in the corner for three and let's not forget, he's got a backcourt mate nowadays that goes by the name of Darius Garland, and he is tough. Garland with the deuce at the rim. Kevin Love's going to miss his first attempt from three. You know, at first, if you don't succeed, try again. I know it's got to feel good for Love to be giving it to his former college teammate and his former NBA teammate and Russ and LeBron. And you saw Jared Allen with the finish and more Donovan Mitchell to close this highlight out and close a victory out for the Cavaliers. 33 points for D. Mitch. The Cavaliers take care of business on the road, 114-100 over the Lakers. You know, Anthony Davis took two shots in the second half against the Cavaliers, and I'm noticing a trend that has definitely been going on for the last couple years, and it's getting significantly worse right now in real time. And it goes hand-in-hand hand with something I want to say about the Lakers organization here. The Lakers are losing trust in AD when they get down. When it's the first half and the game is still in a, a marginable reach, right? If the, the Lakers are down two, four, six, maybe even eight points, the Lakers don't mind passing Anthony Davis the ball on the block. But here's the reality of the situation. I don't believe people show you who they are when things are going good. When everybody's getting money, we good, right? When everybody's getting money, everybody is happy. When everybody's getting money. When things ain't going the greatest is when I find out the most about myself and the people around me. When the Lakers get down double digits. Oh, when the Lakers get down double digits in those second halves and that crowd starts to get a little antsy in the crypto.com arena, that's when the Lakers go back to what they believe in the most. And from what I am seeing, from what I'm seeing this year, to me they believe in LeBron or Russell Westbrook because that's who's getting the basketball more than they do Anthony Davis. They're not passing him the ball much in the second. Two shots for a guy of Anthony Davis's talent? What does that mean? It tells you they've lost confidence in his, his jump shot, his ability to be a bucket getter when the game gets tight. And look, AD is giving them nothing but reason to lose confidence in him. He has been awful in a lot of these games. He has been irrelevant in a lot of these games. Don't let the numbers fool you. Just watch the game. You know, nobody talks about the fact that Anthony Davis's body is, 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 is giving out on him, he's giving away four to six to eight points a game because his he, he gets injured like once a game nowadays. He's limping down court for three, four possessions at a time, telling Darvin Ham and that coaching staff, I'm good, I'm good, keep me on the floor. That's He's giving away points on the other side of the court. You know, he, he's, his body is, 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 is failing on him. You know, I know he's trying. I really do. I know he's trying. But for some odd reason, his body won't cooperate to give him what he needs to give that Lakers team. 
and the Lakers are losing trust in him in the second half of games. Two shots for AD, which brings me to the next thing here. You know, the Lakers organization, let it be known to reporters that they are uncomfortable trading their two for last two first-round picks this decade for just any deal out there, which they should be fairly strict on what they're going to bring in because they won't have any more first-round picks this decade. I get it. But I'm starting to believe that's a cover-up for the bigger story here. And I'm starting to believe that it's Jeannie Buss, Rob Palenka, and this Lakers organization trying to teach LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and company a lesson for one in Russell Westbrook. Like, that's what I'm starting to feel. This feels like they're teaching the Lakers a lesson in a sick way. Yo, know, Jeannie Buss is at these games, and Rob Palenka's at a lot of these games, and there's no way on God's green earth they think that this thing is going to win. You, they don't. They, there's no way they still believe in this product. How much more time do you need to watch the Lakers that's currently constructed to know, hmm, they really are bad at shooting the basketball. It's probably not going to get significantly better tomorrow, the next day, or the next day. Maybe this is just a team constructed of really poor shooters. Maybe we should make a trade. It feels like they're trying to teach LeBron and AD. LeBron a lesson for one in Russell Westbrook and AD a lesson for not being healthy. It feels like they're trying to teach him a lesson by keeping Brody around, by not going and getting more shooting. Because those are two different issues, by the way. Not only will they not trade Russell Westbrook and those last two first-round picks of the decade, which a lot of people believe was what it will take as of right now to get rid of Brody, right? They're, they also didn't get, do a good job of just going and getting shooting. Matt Ryan was in the G League. As a matter of fact, I just saw a story the other day. Matt Ryan was an Uber driver last year this time. So don't tell me you went out and got shooting at a premium clip, right? Like Lonnie Walker, love him, by the way. One of my favorite Lakers right now. One of the guys that's actually going out and playing hard every night can't shoot. As much as I love Lonnie Walker, it would be better suited for the Lakers to get some shooting. Um, I, look, look, look it, I don't know if, if this is really what's on their mind, but I am starting to think Jeannie and Rob and company, in some sick way, they're trying to teach the Lakers a lesson. Darvin Ham doesn't win like that. Like they, The Lakers just don't have enough shooting to compete at all. We'll never know if Anthony Davis, going back to the first issue, can fix his jump shot if he never has the adequate amount of space. LeBron's not shooting the ball at a great clip. I believe one of the reasons why LeBron can't shoot at a great clip, number one, he's getting older. Number two, the lane ain't just free. He ain't getting those easy buckets at the rim, so he's selling a lot for jump shots. Not getting a lot of foul calls. A lot of jump shots for the King right now. All of this stuff would be better if the Lakers had knockdown shooters. Teams are not even thinking about going to the corners to guard the Lakers shooters. If they make it, let them make it. Make them do it five to eight times a game. They don't believe they can do it. So for the Lakers right now, they need shooting. They need AD to play better. They need LeBron to play better. Russ has been giving them five minutes. It's tough for me to be critical of Westbrook when at least he's playing hard. It's tough to be me to be critical of Russ when I know he at least cares every minute that he's on the court. When AD and Braun, I mean, these are there are a lot of nonchalant possessions for the Lakers right now with LeBron. And Anthony Davis is still struggling with the health thing. And it feels like the Lakers organization ain't doing them no favors by going and getting them some shooting, which could essentially help everybody out by spacing the court.